Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in our last video where we were looking at the engraving tools, we unboxed the brand new one from Andu Engraving. And I've been very busy. I apologize it has taken so long in between, but I have now had the time and you know the <laughs> energy, frankly, to start to play around with it. And uh, we're today going to do a side-by-side -side comparison using uh, pretty much the same design. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have all the chemicals I need, and actually one of them that I was using to do direct acetone transfer from laser prints uh, stopped being produced all of a sudden. I don't really know why. For this demo, I kind of just hand drew in from the same uh, inspiration, I suppose. Uh, we're just looking at a quick little rose with lots of cross-hatched details and little curvy things that are generally used across all engraving. So for one, I'm going to be using the old one that I got back in insert year now. I don't know what year I got this thing in, but very long time ago, which as I mentioned in that last video was the like start of our channel when I unboxed it. And now we're moving on to the modern improved V, I don't know how many versions it is, and neither does On, frankly, when I asked him. Uh, it's been, this is the most updated version with the best possible tolerances, and we're just going to put them head to head. I should also mention the setup that we are using. I've kind of upgraded a little bit, and I'm using this particular tool out of context. This is the Sunstone Orion 150S Pulse Arc Welder. Now it comes with a special microscope that has a shutter and a light and everything. I've actually found this microscope to be great for engraving, um, even though it's actually a welder. So uh, we can talk a little bit more about that in another video. So let's get into it.
So having spent the last few hours uh, doing these engravings, um, I can safely say that I really do prefer the new one as, you know, it, things generally get better, especially when you're a craftsman and you're trying to improve your craft. So it's really not a major uh, insight here, I suppose. But if you are someone who happens to have a, an older version, a V1, and you're thinking about, you know what, I have enjoyed this so far and I'm ready to graduate or I need just that little bit more uh, finesse in a tool, then safely, I say yes, absolutely. Upgrade to the new one because this is, I wouldn't say it's night and day, but it's really, really close. The new one feels much more confident um, in the lower pressures. I was able to use the old one at, I think it was 20 PSI. Yeah, 20 PSI, which is quite a lot, frankly, uh, for such a little tool. This guy was half the PSI, and the amount of air that I had to have on the idler, just allowing a trickle of air to go through to keep the piston moving, was minuscule. This one has a little bit of trouble spinning up, and literally, you can actually hear the piston start to spin inside. So, yeah, things have gotten much, much better. I greatly recommend this tool if you're on a budget, you want to start engraving or stone setting, or you just want to add something to your repertoire. Maybe you're not even trying to do jewelry. Maybe you're trying to, uh, you know, make knives or something, and you just want to put in a little bit of embellishment here or there. This is a great tool to get started with. So just before we close out this video, I just want to do a full disclaimer that I do not really get anything for doing this for on. Uh, he did send me the tool for free, just the one little tool, but not a full new kit. And I'm getting no affiliate for it, no money changed hands. This was all based off of my honest opinion. So if you're interested in picking up one of these tools for yourself, check out On's Instagram uh, at the link below in the description, and I'm sure he's more than willing to help you out. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found it helpful. I will see you guys in the next one.